although my powers lately, they're all key. Joe, that was certainly a memorable victory. But the next year, 1971, belonged to the Golds. However, the Purples got rousing applause with this opening number sung by the Fashion Conscious Cowboys. <laughs> I guess you could say we were college night history by now. Oh, speaking of history, that was the theme of Charles Kelly and Clan Phillips' monumental Gold 71, which proudly presents a musical review of the history of the world. That was followed by a big purple win in 1972, the year the cabinet voted to substitute purple velour pullovers for white cabinet sweaters. Uh, and the gold for yellow jackets. You know, my friends Barbara and Eric Olson made history as the first married team leaders. Eric sent, uh, introduced a more formal note to the occasion by showing up in a top hat and tails with his purple bow tie. And that was the year that the Golds substituted the thumbs up sign for the B for victory. A lot of people remember the purple show, The Riddle of Tenebrae, because there was a huge pink cave on this stage made out of 
self-rising flower supposedly donated from the cafeteria. When they put it up in the flies, it expanded. You mean it baked them? Yeah. You know, I was a little wary of a serious script which the Purple sent me to peruse. But the judges seem to have no problems giving a victory signal to a fantasy versus reality based on Tolkien. Kathy Isley Kaplan played a princess in love with a magical lavender dragon. She could imagine living in his cave with him forever. This is how to handle life. Just find sanctuary here in this dream. Close your eyes. Here's a life. build on the serious note set in 1972. First, we have Freak Show, a look at how things aren't always what they seem. During the show, the cast wore elaborate masks, and at the end, they ripped them off to reveal very pale, almost featureless faces.
show was set in a carnival atmosphere, and at one point the cat taunted Stan Nelson, shouting, jump, freak, jump. Stan more than obliged him by falling off the ladder and creating another moment in college night history. <laughs>